So we're gonna look at porting the engine. This is optimizing the airflow into the head itself. There's some major considerations to make just to maximize that airflow into your engine. And if you do it right, you will see better power gains and improved throttle response. <laughs> So porting really just allows the air to match up between all the different zones it travels through into the engine head. So you'll be thinking about the manifolds, the headers and the head itself and just make sure that that airflow can go quite smoothly between the different areas. So we've got a little video animation that we've put together. You'll have to excuse my rather crude photoshopping skills. This is certainly not to scale. It's just an artist's impression of what goes on inside. So when you're tuning your engine, you really want to make sure the air can get into the engine as cleanly and quickly as possible. So as the valve opens, the air will rush from the manifold into the actual head of the engine. And just by addressing the way the air flows through these areas, you can usually make significant changes to the way that the engine is able to burn fuel and make power. If there is a step between the manifold and the head, you will get areas of turbulence, which really will ruin the airflow. So the yellow highlighted areas here would show the turbulence created where the manifold aperture is much larger than that on the head. So ideally you would want to smooth these down and get them to match up better. So you've got a fairly clean channel going from the manifold into the head of the engine, allowing that air to flow as cleanly and as efficiently as possible into the engine itself. So you might assume that the air flows evenly around the valves into the engine, and that is a common misconception. A lot of people don't actually look at the way their specific engine and head flows. And in most cases, it's somewhat different to what you might anticipate. The yellow shows a channel here of the air's direct path and it goes across into the engine. You've got some blue areas there which show the slow moving air and the red dots show where you should focus your primary attention on smoothing out the path the air takes into the cylinders. In the case of the lower one, you've actually got an area of very low pressure immediately after that because it's being pushed upwards. And then on the inside of the head itself, you've got another area of very, very high pressure where the air is hitting that and it's coming down. But you'll notice the overall path is more across the valve than directly around the valve into the engine. So the angles cut on the actual valve itself can dramatically alter the way that air flows into the engine. And it's fair to say that every engine type is different. There's different angles that are preferable and it depends what the characteristics of the power requirements you have are. Do you want top end power? Do you want low end torque? Are you looking to improve fuel efficiency? These are all things that a specialist will take into account to just maximize the way that that air can get into the engine itself. So another more complex task involved in the world of cylinder head tuning is actually changing the angle of the channels as they go into the engine head itself and it depends a lot on how the engine is set up and where the existing pipe work is and what other things are bolted onto the engine but by altering the angle that the ports take into the cylinder and into the valves you can dramatically alter the way that that air is flowing into the engine for the better. This diagram is certainly not to scale and it's far from ideal but it's the best I could doing Photoshop with my limited skills and my limited ability, but it, it does show what potentially is possible. And you can dramatically alter those angles of the airflow going into the cylinders themselves. So I hope this video has been useful to you. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. We would love you to stay tuned. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.